the other day, the child rape report in the news channel stabbed my heart. It's not an odd incident. It has been happening for centuries around the world. We hear it only when it comes as news. But why does a good God allow innocent people to suffer? Well, there is no one purely innocent, but little children are closer to innocence than anyone else. It's heartbreaking to see those knaves suffering because of the sin of others. We have been seeing those natural calamities destroying many lives. We point against God when we see something which is not parallel to our righteousness. But are those things right in the sight of God? Who are we to judge God's righteousness? He created every living and non-living thing. The whole universe belongs to Him. We cannot understand God's logic if we think using our human mindset. Let's try to see this through the eyes of God, though we are unworthy for that. First of all, we need to understand that we are primitively not human beings with a soul, but souls with a human body. This human body is only for a temporary purpose as long as we are in this world. The life duration in this earth is like a drop of water in the ocean called eternity. You see sufferings on this earth as serious tragedies because you have no clue about the eternal life. For you, life on this earth means everything. Your vision is extremely short and restricted so that it will not go beyond this world. Little children die. They will not get separated from God but only move closer to God where their perfect home is. There is no tear or pain there. Undeserved people suffer and the followers of Christ get persecuted. But they will not get away from God. They will only get closer to God where there is peace and comfort. They are actually covered with the grace of God. He is the righteous judge. He determines one's eternal destination. God allows evil in this world to test and filter souls. Every disaster God allows in this world has a purpose. Things that do not make sense in your sight are extremely meaningful in the sight of God. You cannot understand God or His plan as long as you evaluate life in your corrupted, fallen, self-righteous understanding which is shaped in sin. If you are not able to understand God or His plan, don't judge or question Him. Remain silent and trust that He is God. Remember, tragedies in this world are nothing when you compare it with the eternal death. The biggest tragedy one can ever happen is losing their eternal salvation.